So, in case you didn't know, no matter how many asshats call themselves platoon leaders and actually lead platoons on your server, on your faction, you're only actually going through about two, three, maybe four platoon leaders. Like, they all fall into the same archetype, me included. And it kind of sucks because I can't lead every platoon ever, and I am often subject to these losers, just like you are. Except I have the internal torture of knowing everything they're doing wrong, and I can't say anything without looking like a huge asshat. First platoon leader is somebody that really shouldn't be leading platoons. Like, he has a right to lead platoons when he's ready, except now is not that time. He needs a little more personal growth and a little more self-confidence before he leads the platoon. These people, more often than not, want to be the friends of everyone in the platoon without actually realizing that some of them are very narrow-minded, nearsighted jerks. And he ends up making his whole 48 people suffer because, when it all comes down to it, he just doesn't have the gall to put his foot down and give orders. About five to maybe eight people will sit back and forth giving him advice, quote-unquote, and nothing really happens. Like, you will literally sit there at a base you've just taken and listen to these guys who often aren't even actual squad leaders bicker back and forth while he just timidly stammers. And it really fucking sucks. Because, for instance, the last time I had this happen to me, we had just taken the I don't give a fuck base that is northly adjacent to the ascent, and all signs pointed to, let's go to the ascent. So I waddle over there because I'm in a fucking max suit, and I notice, lo and behold, there's fucking no one here. I am all by myself. I literally, when I came onto the ascent, it was at zero pop and it became 100% TR pop when I walked on. So I say to the platoon leader, hey, the ascent isn't open. Maybe we can just keep rolling through. Uh, no, I, 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 uh, uh, that requires multiple platoons and leadership chat coordination. And I really, I don't think that we have this thing. And then a bunch of other assholes cut him off and say how we should, like, fly to the NC arsenal or redeploy to warp gate or, oh, there's a crown fight going on right now. It's like, fucking, I, I am literally clambering out of my max suit, taking a piss on the control point, and no one is here to contest me. Look at the fucking map. Come on, man. Self-confidence. Look at this map. It's good for you. Don't listen to these guys. Make decisions. And more often than not, people will just leave this platoon because they realize after an hour or so that this guy really, he doesn't know what he's doing and this isn't going anywhere. Now, the other kind of guy is sort of the opposite of this dude. He should also not really be leading as much as he is. And more often than not, he's extremely cocky with his abilities and doesn't listen to anything and not even looking at the map sometimes. This guy will have one given strategy, usually centered around redeploy side. Thank Higby for the nerf. Or something like that, a cheese strategy. Sometimes it's a convoy of repair sunder, sometimes it's shit like that. And you'd finally realize one day, because when this finally happens, and I guarantee you it will eventually happen, when this platoon leader finally gets chased off the faction because he was just being too much of a jerk, you'll finally have this ability turned on you. And you'll realize how fucking terrible of a strategy it was. Because more often than not, these people are literally one-trick ponies. And the factions that fight against these people figured out that trick a long fucking time ago. Now, the third and final person. More often than not, you're not actually in this person's platoon. No, really. You're being led by these people, but you're not in their platoon. These are the tryhards on leader chat. These are the people that believe that their arsenal of strategies are just fucking so great that they have to... Come in and join your platoon, start spamming in voice chat what they have to do and why all this stuff is shit and why aren't their leaders listening to them despite having no affiliation, and then they'll just abruptly leave. These are the guys, more often than not, that really only have their platoon to help with their own personal farming. And these fuckers just piss me off so much because more often than not, I am running a perfectly good platoon. We have a good strategy. This guy is chewing my fucking ear off. And then, out of fucking nowhere, this guy and three or four of his goons blow up one of our sunderers so they can place one of theirs. What the fuck, man? We were going to win before you pulled that stunt. You just wanted the fucking certs. If you're going to be a platoon leader, platoon lead. If you're going to be a cert farmer, go crawl back to your biolab, you worthless, puerile shit. 
Did I even use that word in the right meaning? I, I gotta Google. These people are often the ones that lose the alert for the faction, but want to blame it on everyone but them. They are the most vocal in orders chat, but they are the least active, because more often than not, they cannot see anything beyond their own player camera. Why am I telling you all this, besides to supply you with art? Because you can do something about this. You can learn to call people out on their shit. You can learn how to lead and make your own squads and learn how to avoid being in these pitfalls. And that means I have to lead Platoon less. And I would really appreciate that.